Welcome everybody to another edition of Dan's Grand Valley Railroad. As you can see by the opening shots, we are on the road today and uh, we are headed to uh, Denver. Uh, we live a little bit south of Denver. As you can see, I'm with uh, neighbor Mike here uh, of Mike's Euro and American Trains. And uh, we're headed to the train show. Uh, it's the uh, Rocky Mountain train show. And uh, we're gonna go check it out and uh, see what they got going on. And uh, I'm gonna uh, bring you some uh, live, not live video, but some shots of inside, uh, some layouts and just check it out and see what there is to see. And uh, we're looking for a couple things. I know Mike is looking for uh, a switcher for his layout and uh, some other scenery items. I'm looking for some uh, more vehicles, people, possibly some roomettes and uh, definitely want to pick up those crossing guard uh, lights, crossing signals, possibly with gates. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, just need to see what we can find. And uh, so uh, stick with us. I'm going to uh, bring some, uh, some shots of inside and we'll see how it goes. Well, here we are inside and it is pretty crowded. There's a lot of people here. A lot of interest. We had to park a long ways away. So we're both kind of Puffing and puffing right now. Mike's over there checking out some stuff. So uh, let me find something cool and I'll uh, bring it to you guys. But uh, yeah, right now there's a lot of people here. Wow. Well, I got my first purchase here, a 57 Chevy Nomad. It's gonna look good on the layout. Mike is uh, checking out some vehicles. So, it's crowded, there's a lot of people here. But pretty exciting, a lot of neat stuff. Mike, what do you think? Did you find something? Did you find well, something? there's always something. <laughs> Are you being properly restrained? My chaperone's not doing his job. <laughs> Alright Mike, we found a little quiet corner here. What'd you get? Ah, oh, you got a building, that's cool. And look at the look at the boats. You're gonna have a little dock area. Where are you gonna put your uh, your lake? Oh, it's going to be the diorama. That's right. Okay. That's right. I got, I uh, showed you the, uh, I showed you the uh, police car already, or I mean the uh, Chevy Nomad. I got some trash cans to go behind the diner. So they're rusty and they're going to take the place of those uh, drums that I have back there. So that's going to look pretty nice. And then, uh, yeah, I got the Chevy Nomad. That's all I got so far. I'm looking for a police car for the era, uh, you know, my era, but uh, so far I haven't spotted one, so. All right, let's keep going.
engine house. That is so cool. That's what I want. I want to do that someday. How awesome is that? Wow. There's the bus I need right there. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. There is. There's a stockyard there. I got this. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. We uh, we had to leave. We're, we're exhausted. Mike, are you exhausted? <laughs> He's exhausted. Our feet hurt. It was a nice show. We got a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, so um, I will do a, a recap when I get back to the basement in the shop, and uh, I'll show you some of the stuff I got. I didn't go crazy. Just got a few neat little things that are going to be nice, uh, nice scenery and you know backdrop kind of things so all right we'll uh we'll catch you back at the uh at the basement all right back here at home after that day that was uh that was a lot of fun uh like i said in the video it was crowded um, we had to park a long ways away for the uh uh, parking, but uh, it was good for us. We got some good exercise. So let me show you the things I got. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but I got some neat little detail things. Uh, so I showed you this uh, uh, in the uh, show. I got this 57 uh, Chevy Nomad, which is nice. That's going to fit right in real nice with my layout. Oxford, most of my vehicles on there are Oxfords. They're really nice. Um, really, really nice. So I like that. I got some 3D printed fire hydrants, so I'm going to put those around the downtown area, and I'm going to paint them. They're all red, so I'm going to have to uh, dull coat them a little bit or get some flat red paint on there and maybe a little bit of white or something, but uh, got a few of those so I can put those around the town, a uh, different, couple of different places. And then, let's see, I got some uh, garbage cans, and these are... Uh, uh, painted and rusted. So look at those. Those are going to look real nice uh, right behind the the diner. That's going to look real nice. So that's going to go, that's right for right behind the diner. And then uh, I also picked up a couple of dumpsters. These are also from the 3D uh, printers. They, there was a whole outfit there that did all kinds of 3D printing for uh, every scale imaginable. So uh, these were pretty nice, uh, four bucks for a couple with lids. So uh, I can put a dumpster behind the uh, the diner or there by the, the garage, you know, the, the gas station. So that's kind of nice. And then uh, let's see, I got these uh, corrugated steel pipes, uh, which are going to be for underneath my uh, couple of roadways where I've got some little culverts. Let's head over to the layout and I'll show you what I'm thinking for those. See a couple of places where I've got these little culverts between the tracks here. And I was thinking, you know, of course, move that rock, but I can have a little pipe opening there on one side and then, of course, the other side. And then, uh, let's see, there's another place right over here where it can be down in there. That one's not quite so much as a culvert as I had uh, this one in mind for that uh, particular little drainage right there. 
Um, of course, I won't run completely under the road, but just a little pipe on each side, you know, kind of dug out there for maybe thinking about putting a little water down here on both sides. So that's a possibility. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about that. So I also got some trackside uh, little buildings and stuff that I want to uh, uh, set around uh, maybe here. Uh, and then uh, let me move these. I'm thinking about a fueling station here where we'll bring the locomotives down here and they can get fueled over there. And I'll show you that. I'm not sure if it's going to fit or if I'm going to have to take it off its base to fit there, but we'll see. Um, it was cheap enough to just uh, play around with. So let's head back over to the bench and I'll show you that stuff. So here's some of the little buildings I got. Here's the, uh, the diesel fueling station. And this I thought was really cool. Uh, it's basically a tanker car that they put up on a platform here. And uh, this was at like the thrift area where uh, almost like flea market where used stuff. And that's where I had the most fun because it was the cheapest. This was $5. Um, and they had one with a guy standing up here. So that's kind of cool. They had a couple without this building, but I like this building. And you can see there's something missing there and there. But I've got some little pipes and things we can put for a, a chimney there on that and uh, whatever. But uh, there's... There's some extra stickers here, but the pipe goes out through there. So then they must open this and then uh, bring the hoses out to fuel up the locomotives. Um, but I thought that might fit between those tracks over there. I'm not sure. It may be only room for this itself and not the little shanty, but we'll see. Uh, uh, I just thought for five bucks, it'd be kind of fun to play with, so pick that up. I got this little uh, shed or shack or whatever it is. It's got a door and some windows. It's got some cut openings there uh, on both sides. $2 for that. I mean, it's almost completely weathered. <laughs> it looks really good. Look at the roof on that. It's all, you know, weathered and dusty and looks really good. So that'll be uh, somewhere around the yard. And then I got this little utility building here. It says no trespassing. It actually has windows in it. And uh, that one has glass in it. Uh, that one doesn't. This one has glass in it. So that's kind of neat. Little, I paid a dollar for that. And then this little, like a woodshed or something. Obviously this one. I think this one is 3D printed. But uh, yeah, I'd have to paint this to uh to get it to look a little bit more realistic but i thought that's a neat little shack to have uh there down by the tracks so gonna be doing some painting on that to uh to get that looking more realistic um and then just for the wiring i got uh a couple more extension cables uh for uh i gotta do that downtown building and then i got a port sharing device um as you remember, uh, I think I used a port sharing device for one of the uh, industrial buildings over on the other end. So for the one building that is uh, uh, all done with the roomettes and it has four lights in it, I'm going to pare it down to, to you know one plug that will go into the light hub. So one dimmer will, will control the whole building, uh, which is fine because I didn't want to you know, have that whole building be individually controlled by the light hub. So um, that's where a port sharing device comes in real handy. So that's going to be nice. So, all right. Well, that's all we have time for this week. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, at the train show. <laughs> we had a good time and uh, we picked up a couple good things. I just threw these here just to, to set them on the side and see how they look. But uh, definitely going to take some thought and... Uh, uh, Definitely some planning on where we're going to put that stuff, but uh, couldn't pass up a good bargain. But uh, anyways, well, thank you guys. Uh, appreciate all you new subscribers and everybody who tunes in and asks questions. Uh, I try to answer them all. Really appreciate interacting with you guys and uh, enjoy it a lot. So uh, that's it for this week. And uh, I thank you so much. We'll catch you next episode. Take care. And we'll see you next time.